Hey friends, CFO Gamer here. And if you can't tell from my videos, I like to do quite a few pet battles. And I've been leveling up uh, this warrior by mostly flying around Pandaria and doing the quests. You can see today I haven't done too many of them. But, you know, one of the things that's pretty cool about it is you can actually get battle pets from it that are pretty rare and they sell from uh, anywhere from like 9,000 to some of them are listed right now for 20,000 gold but I mean I sell them I'd say somewhat regularly 9 to 15,000 gold so you can also make a little gold along the way as well and so I've kind of got my bags cleared out here and I've got um, 80 different um, sacks to open so I'm interested to see what all we get out of it. Now what you'll notice is you can see this one is called Pantaran Spirit. This one is called Sack of Pet Supplies. So there are the Whispering, the Thundering, the Burning, and the Flowing. And when you do those, you get this uh, Pantaran Spirit Pet Supplies. And I used to open them as soon as I do it. So, you know, if you get the bag from the Whispering, it'll actually drop that. Uh, it's not Whispering, but it's uh, the Water Spirit, Pandaren Water Spirit, Air Spirit, Earth Spirit, Fire Spirit. So those are what drop from those. And then the other bags can also drop pets as well. I don't remember exactly which ones. So anyways, I've got 80 of these. So I figured, let's see what happens. Let's up, open 80 at a time and see what we get. You get a lot of this gray, and kind of these green things. Now these bandages are kind of nice. If you want to use those to level in the future. Right, we got through 10 with no pets. Ooh. And this is nice. So I got a flawless dragon can battle stone. So say I'm doing some open world or even uh, maybe you pick up something off the auction house and it's just green or, um, you know, open world can be gray. You can always upgrade it to a rare quality with these. through 20 with no pets. There we go. Got another flawless. I'm really surprised getting through 30 with no pets. Flawless. All right. You know, it's kind of funny. I don't think about the odds on these. I usually just pull them right away, but I do so many of these. So we've gotten through 40, and we've got three of these and one pet. So surprised I'm not getting more. Oh, there we go. Got a flawless beast. Two, three, four, five, six. Got six. We got two pets so far. See if we can get one more pet. That'd be awesome. Got another flawless stone. All right, last ten. Hey, 
three, two. Ooh, there we go. And one. All right. So we got 80 bags. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flawless. And we got three of these pets. And let's see how much all this sells for. Some of the stuff that's just kind of junk to me. This is about 300 gold. And you get quite a bit of gold from the quest. And let's take a look at these. So we got earth, air, and water. So you can see the earth one right now is about 4,000 gold. The air is about 8,000 gold. And then the water is 20,000. I don't know if it actually sells for 20. Um, but anyways, and uh, sometimes I'll sell them for this low. So not too bad. Um, and, you know, the reality is you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you got 11 of these. So 80 is, um, you know, pretty close to a week of doing every single one. And the reality is, I think if you did a whole week of hitting all of them, I mean, you would level pretty decently. Um, but the loop takes about an hour, so that's still seven, eight hours of work. So probably not worth it for gold making, but... You know, I do it for fun. Easy leveling is kind of the way I look at it. So, anyways, if you're interested in, you know, what 80 bags looks like, that's what I got. Until next time, y'all have a good one.